channel. It's quarantine with Carson season and if you don't know me, hi my name is Carson. I've been a professional makeup artist for over six years now working on all kinds of projects from feature length movies to commercials to weddings, everything you name it, and I've been in the clean beauty space for about a year and a half now. I'm on YouTube helping you figure out what's what in clean beauty. So with all of that said, let's get into today's video, which is a full face and review of Tower 28. I am so ecstatic to be making this video because T28 has been on the scene for about a year now and in Sephora for a little bit less than that. The owner, Amy Liu, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, has been in the cosmetic industry for over 15 years, which I so appreciate. And she also started Tower 28 because she has suffered from eczema. Eczema, eczema, tomato, tomato, you tell me. I love that stuff so much. Products that are safe for sensitive skin, that are nourishing for sensitive skin, which hello, hi, I have dry, sensitive, acne prone skin. That's music to my ears. I always want makeup products to be good for sensitive skin. So I absolutely love that about Tower 28. All their products are under the price of $28. The spray is $28, but then all of the beauty products for the most part are $20 and under, which is pretty affordable and I welcome it with open arms. I absolutely love that. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into these products. Watch me create this face for you. Look at this cheek situation. It's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. All links to the products I mentioned are down below. And if you shop through those links, then you are supporting me and my channel. And I really appreciate those of you who do shop through my links. It means the world to me. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. It means the world to me. So thank you. Let's get on with this journey. Let me show you some Tower 28. To get started, I'm going to show you my little collection of shine on lip jellies. These are obviously adorable. I featured this product on my favorite lip products in quarantine video, another video you should definitely check out because boy am I passionate about my lip products. I guess I'll just swatch the clear because why not? I'm gonna be doing hand swatches and lip swatches. I don't know if you can see that, just a pretty clear lip gloss. XOXO a bright pink, but you can see it's very sheer. And then fire, see it's extremely sheer. It's just a touch of color. And that's why I like these so much. So let me show you on my lips. I'll start off with fire since it's in my hand. That is such a good color. Okay, and then here is the shade XOXO, and it looks highlighter bright neon pink in the tube. But on the lips, gives you that perfect amount of pink. And because these products are so sheer, you can easily apply them. You don't have to freak out about the color getting everywhere or being uneven or looking patchy. It goes on pretty evenly. Let me show you the clear. This one is absolutely my baby. This I use like a lip balm. These are incredibly nourishing. The other colors that Tower 28 offers is Magic, which is a glittered clear gloss, which I'm really curious to try. I've heard that the glitter doesn't go on shonky and it's very smooth, so I'd really like to try that one next. And then there's the color Spicy, which is a bright red that's actually a bit more pigmented. So if you're someone that wants a really pigmented gloss, you might like Spicy. And then the last color is a very nice sheer plum, which is in the color Fearless. Also very pretty. I don't usually go for purples, but but I've seen it applied on all skin tones and it does look really gorgeous. When it comes to the formulation, what you need to know is that it's extremely thin in consistency. It's by no means a lip oil. It's kind of like straddling that line between the thinness of an oil and the thickness of a gloss. It's that happy medium in between. I personally love the consistency. The smell of these is a very slight coconut flavor. In past videos, I said it's sort of vanilla-y, but it really is like a slight coconut. I have no complaints about it. And these do leave my lips feeling moisturized. And that's the most important thing. These are so lovely. I'm a diehard fan. I recommend 
recommend the clear gloss to everyone, especially if you like gloss, because it's that perfect summer lip product that you just throw on any of these beautiful juicy lips. There's nothing on the Tower 28 website to indicate that this packaging is from non-virgin plastic or that it's easily recyclable. So that's something to keep in mind in terms of sustainability. And I do have to lastly mention that the price of $14 is so awesome. Now let's talk about cheeks. Let's put some color on this face. I'm feeling very bland right now. So these are the Beach Please Cream Blushes. They're also designed for the lips, so you could plop these on the lips. I have two out of the three colors. The one color I'm missing is Golden Hour, which is like this bright, warm orange that I'm really interested to try because I don't actually own a color like that. But I do have two beautiful pinks. I have a very nudie pink called Magic Hour, which is honestly my favorite blush color of all time. And then we have this bright pink in the color Happy Hour. Here is Beach Please as a swatch. They go on very pigmented and then they blend out really easily and the way that I'm doing this is with fingers and kind of like slapping my face like going up and down versus swiping. If I didn't have foundation on I'd probably do a more rigorous swipe but I just want to be careful of my foundation underneath. They also give that really pretty glow because they have a natural balm like texture but they're not sticky. It actually absorbed into my foundation really easily and quickly. So this is Magic Hour. Now let's go in with Happy Hour. It's always scary to open that. If I had big nails, I don't think I'd be able to open these components. Happy Hour Swatch. Okay, super bright pink. Let's put it on the cheek. So you can see full pigmentation. And you could go on with less. I'm definitely someone that likes a blushy cheek, so I'd rather get there sooner than later. But that's what it's looking like. You can see it really does blend out. It's almost like gone. So I'm just gonna go back in a little more. And as a makeup artist, I'm not opposed to needing to layer a blush to get it where you want it because that makes application actually a little bit easier. So now that you've seen the application, let's talk about the formula and how I feel about these. This packaging is adorable, but it's kind of hard to open and I get really nervous about my nails, so I actually usually open it with my um, tweezers. But you have to, you gotta dock points for a product when you can't open it easily. In terms of the formula, I think it's really beautiful. I don't think it takes my top, top, top spot for favorite blushes, and I haven't noticed these last, like, all day long, they really do fade. Now, are they beautiful? Do you get that super natural glowy skin that I absolutely love in blush? Yes. I'm super happy to have these colors. I'm probably gonna pick up Magic Hour because I don't own a orange blush like that. So if you are someone that specifically likes blush that shears out really easily, can build up, you don't care about a super long wearability as much and you like that glow that's not sticky, you're gonna really love these, so definitely try them out. I also wanted to mention that these are $20. Again, another really great price for clean beauty. Don't worry, I have the bronzer. I'm gonna put that on last. This is their latest launch if you're not familiar. I'm gonna go in with their Super Dew in no shade, and this is a balm highlighter, so let's play with it. Yeah, that's really pretty, and it's really not sticky. And that looks so pretty. So this Super Dew Highlighter Balm goes for $18, which I again think is a really good price. This is very reminiscent of the Honest Beauty Magic Balm, literally almost identical packaging as well, which is $5 less. So it's not the biggest difference in the world. So this is really a specific product. I think it's best for no makeup days when you just want your skin to look bing so pretty and cute. Then we have the new Bronzino highlighter from Tower 28 in the color West Coast. Let me swatch this for you and then demonstrate it. I'm so happy to have this in my possession. Ooh, that was a difficult one to open. I wonder if over time it gets easier to open. I'm not sure, but here's West Coast. Can you see that? It has a really beautiful luminosity to it, and it's the same similar balm texture as the creams. I'm applying this right now with a brush in my hairline and then blending it out. 
and then it's blending out really easily. My cheeks haven't been this bronzed up and dewy in a minute. I can tell you that much. God, that's so pretty. Wow, okay, and then I'm taking the bronzer just under the cheek, a little bit on the ears. For summer, I've been really into the idea of a cream bronzer. Yeah, that looks really seamless and natural. I hope this is picking up properly on camera. I feel bronzed to the high heavens right now. So this is what the bronzer looks like after full application. I would say I'm looking extremely bronzy and it looks very skin-like and natural and pretty and fresh. Like it's very pretty. If you have more dry skin, you're obviously gonna like this more because it is very sheeny. I had a pretty medium coverage foundation on underneath this and I do know that it like definitely moved around. But with all that said, I look pretty good. Like I'm really happy with this. I feel like my skin looks so pretty. And you know what I really wanna do? I wanna put this bronzer on my eyeballs. So let's do that. That's so pretty. Watch me out here in the summer, like with this Tower 28 bronzer on my eyes. I absolutely love this. I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna go on top of my lips with Fire lip gloss to complete this look. And then I have one more product to talk about, so don't leave just yet. I also wanted to mention really quickly, I should have mentioned it earlier, with the Tower 28 lip glosses, people complain about the colors moving around on their lips. I find with my lips, it doesn't happen. When it comes to these, do a nice thin layer. Just throwing that out there. So let's talk about the last product I have from them, which is the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. That's correct. This product is really interesting, really unique, and really special. It only has three ingredients. The first ingredient is water, the second ingredient is salt, and then the third ingredient is hypochlorous acid. The salt is there as a preservative, and actually when you spray it, it smells like the ocean. It smells like you're almost spraying seawater on. So hypochlorous acid, I'm gonna read the description of hypochlorous acid. I'm also going to link below some research, some data on hypochlorous acid if you're curious to investigate for yourself. This is what it says on the Tower 28 website. Hypochlorous acid is naturally found in your white blood cells, which helps to fight and defend your body from harmful bacteria and inflammation. When applied to the skin, hypochlorous acid triggers an immune boost, which then signals your body to repair and heal irritated skin. This unique solution is pH balanced 4.5 and formulated for facial skin, but safe to use anywhere on the skin. This is amazing. I have acne prone, sensitive, dry skin. I'm someone that only cleanses their face once a day at night. So in the mornings, I've been throwing this on my face. That's what Amy Liu, the founder of T28 does. She sprays this on her face in the morning before going in with any additional skincare and sunscreen. So I've been doing that. For now, I can tell you I had a sample size and I used it up to completion and then I bought a large bottle. That's how much I enjoyed it. So there's no complaints there and I'm really excited to see how this hopefully helps my skin. It retails for $28, which I think is a pretty average price for a clean facial mist. That's the one thing about facial mist for me is I go through them in two seconds. So spending $30 on facial mist seems a little bit like, Ugh! Dang, I don't wanna do it. But if it actually helps, then I think it'll definitely be worth it. I really support the idea behind it. I haven't heard of any other product using hypochlorous acid. Maybe there are some out there, but I think it's innovative, interesting, and worth mentioning. Now that I've given you a full face of T28, gone through all the products I have by them, I hope you check them out. I have links down in the description for where you can buy T28. If you do decide to purchase, please use my links because they support me and my channel and I appreciate your love and support so much. Please like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you. I hope you are happy and safe out there and have a lovely, beautiful day. Bye.